Hi everyone! It's Esther here for Elizabeth Craft Designs and I'm going live in about one minute. So I'm just checking now if everything is working and waiting for some people to join me for a Facebook Live tonight or this afternoon. It depends all where you are now. Let me see. Okay, I see some people coming in already. Inge, hi Inge. Hi Nancy. Let me check who else is there. Angelique, hi Tracy. Els, hi Els. Anneke, hi Anneke. Linda, hi Jona, Ellie, Anja. Another Anja. <laughs> Hallo Anneke, elke keer. Hi Anita. Ans. Kijk, ik zie een hoop mensen binnenkomen. Hi Suzanne. I'm waiting for, I think, one or two minutes. Until it's uh, 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock uh, in the US. And checking... If my camera is okay. Hi Joop, hallo. Je bent vlakbij Joop. Hi Joyce, Tracy, Ellie. Hi Ellie. Okay, it's good to see a lot of people coming in already and I think I'm going to start because it's eight o'clock, I guess. Okay, hi Anneke, a lot of people watching. Yes, Dineke, hi Dineke, Jorinka. <laughs> Anita, thank you. Claudia, hi Claudia. Okay, what I want to do tonight is talk to you about um, this Planner Essential die set. It's the retro label set and it ha has loads of little tiny labels which you can um, perfectly work with with some of our stamp sets. And these are the retro words, the retro labels. Um, the sayings and this is another set which has some circle uh, stamps which also fit uh, on the dies. Uh, hi Monique, Els, oh it looks great already, well okay I'm not going to do anything and just letting you watch this beautiful tray <laughs> with uh, die cuts I already made. Anneke, yes call your mom Anneke, Saakje where are you? Hi Judy from Kentucky. Lila, hi. Gaby, hi. <laughs> it's uh, such a shame that we can't see each other for real at the moment. Hi Linda, Suzanne. Okay, so we're going to talk about these labels and the stamp sets, what you, what you can do with it. Um, I think a lot of people uh, already have those, but not sure if you know that you can combine them uh, really well. Hi Charlene, Cora. Uh, a lot of people already here. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, some things which you can do with them. And I'm sure you can perfectly uh, figure out things yourself too. But it's just to give you an idea and to show you what I'm doing with them. Well, the easiest way, of course, is to use the stamps as they are as a stamp. And you can use them in your journal, in your planner. But don't forget, you can also use them... Uh, when you are sending out birthday cards or other postcards, uh, just take an envelope. And I've got one here and I stamped the words Happy Mail and Oh La La, this is for you on them. And well, it makes it much more um, nicer already than just a normal stamp and an address label. Um, what you also can do, and I think I showed it to you last time I was doing a Facebook Live, that... I uh, glued some uh, double-sided adhesive at the back of uh, an old ledger sheet and I stamped all the label stamps. So these are the stamps I used to stamp on this piece of paper. And I think the large one is perfectly suitable also uh, to use on an envelope. So I'm going to cut one. And Okay, let me see. So with this double-sided adhesive on the back, you make your own stickers. 
and probably a lot of you already know this but not everybody is watching every time we are doing this so um, I will try to peel off the back now and stick it on my envelope and then you can write down the name address uh, let me see put some nice stamps here hi Kobe nice to see you too who else is there let me see Saskia Yvonne Yorinka okay some stamps and it really looks so much nicer when you decorate an envelope like this and obviously you can add much more uh, when I'm doing this I was just thinking I think I'm going to tuck something in it uh, when I finish this Facebook live and I'm going to send it to one of you uh, who is watching this Facebook live tonight uh, and can you please uh, pick one of the people who is watching and commenting tonight or today and so we can pick their address and I'm going to send something nice okay so that's a promise one of you is going to get this envelope uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put inside but it will be really something nice for you okay uh, Tracy Rhonda I see some more people Alice hi Alice Saskia, Julie, hi Julie, Tracy again, Cora, Focalina, Kim, hi Kim, Lisbeth, <laughs> Alda, hi Alda too, Jona, oh my, you are me, it's getting busy here girls. Okay, so this is one, just use the stamps as they are and uh, use them on an envelope or in your planner or everything else. Uh, what I want to show you is that the stamps match the dies. So these are a few of the dies which are in the retro die set and I will show you that I made them to fit uh, the stamp. So for example this one if you use a stamp this one will fit exactly on this stamp or the stamp will fit on the die cut after you have been die cutting him. This one for example is supposed to be with this one. Um, this is the one with a little heart. You can uh, combine them with this die and this stamp. Uh, the little one with the scalloped edge I think is for this one and I hope I'm showing. The round one of course for the circle, circular stamp it goes with this one. This is the larger one you can use for this one so you see I thought about it when I designed this this is the real label with the two um, yeah, how do you call it the two openings so they this is really nice to add some ribbon or wire and it goes with this stamp then there's this little tiny one it's supposed to be with this one oh sorry the other side and the one with the um, uh, how do you call it hexagon shape I think it's a hexagon it goes with this one and I think it's better to show it to you with one I already did okay I'm going to show it to you oh it's here so it's this stamp and this label so hopefully this makes sense so this is supposed to be uh, go with this one um, now I am going to show you a few how I use them in my planner and this is one of the planners I did last year and I remember well there are a few in there somewhere <laughs> so I have to look it up for you but it gives you a good opportunity to uh, take a little sneak peek in my uh, journal from last year it wasn't such a great year last year because I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer so it's a little bit bulky I wrote a lot in it and uh, but luckily everything is fine now uh, oh here you see I've got all these little labels stamped on pieces of paper and this was when we were on a holiday and I wrote down uh, little things and bits and pieces we were doing every day uh, there are some more decoration with old postage stamps but it's really 
a simple way of making a planner page using all those labels on different pieces of paper. And here's another one which I used uh, one of the label stamps. And here's another one. And I think here's the one. And I used one of the stamps from this set which says private. So I wrote in some journaling, which, uh, well, it's personal, so that's why I closed it down a little bit and used the private stamp here. Another one here. So here's one of the labels, another one of the labels. So you can see you can use them in many, many ways. And I'm sure you come up with a lot of other great ideas, which I never thought of it. Um, and that's what's happening quite a lot, that I see you girls uh, make things and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that's a, a good idea. Here's another one of the labels, uh, stamp again. So here more um, journaling spots and only use the stamps and some ledger paper. The stamps are sold out, is that true? I see somebody else or you do you know if the stamps are sold out <laughs> Annika power lady yes <laughs> oh sorry oh thank you very much Bianca uh, well <laughs> this is something <laughs> so you can see you can do a lot with those labels and stamps in combination together and here's one in the end another private uh, spot for journaling I added some ribbon and then uh, the stamp and one of the labels again. So that's something I'm going to put aside now. And then I think I'm going to show you how you can uh, combine some of them. And that's what I did this afternoon. And maybe some of you already know that I like to be uh, prepared. I also prepare a lot of uh, reinforcement rings in advance so I can take one if I need one and don't have to think about um, picking up a stamp, a piece of paper. I like to have some ready to go. So that's what I did this afternoon. I did stamp uh, some things on bits and pieces of paper. I did die cut some of the dies with uh, paper leftovers. So you can see here uh, all kinds of leftovers which I um, used for die cutting. These are normally bits and pieces of paper which you maybe throw away and that's a waste of paper so uh, I did use them for die cutting and you see some little sneak peeks sneak peeks sorry of my new uh, journaling uh, paper line which is coming out really soon I hope this month it will be available for all of you uh, so you can see here prepare some um, die cuts some stamps different kinds of pieces of paper and then you can start assembling them uh, for me I like to work with a little bit of vintage style um, pieces of paper but if you like bright colors or you like only black and white or it's all up to you it's just to give you an idea what you can do so let me start with uh, this one it's the large label uh, it comes with a large stamp now over here I stamped it um, on a piece of jelly print paper which I had left from some other project so I used the stamp on itself and now when you die cut it there's also another um, small die cut which gives you this piece and that also suits into this frame again so you can layer it up it's also really fun to use uh, this little die and die cut a picture uh, with it so then you have your uh, larger die cut you can stamp around it and then you can put uh, a picture inside or something like that or a quote or uh, so that's one of the ideas layering and I am going to see if you are still here everybody Yona oh Yona you're curious about the paper Charlene too yes I, I know it's ready it's uh, in the warehouse already and we are waiting for some other uh, products which have to go with it so when everything comes in you will be all um, the first ones to know okay so this is a really cute one to uh, embellish with uh, for example a picture or a quote you can also use 
this part and then the leftover pieces which come out when you die cut it and put in another color of paper. I don't have the little die cuts of the chevrons here. I think I threw them away this afternoon, but you can imagine if you put in another color in here that it really looks uh, very nice too. Hi Mayan. Uh, Melanie, she is asking if you can buy the big roll of Elish the the tape you mean? I think it's available uh, on the Elizabeth Craft Designs website and otherwise you should ask one of the shops in Holland if they can order it for you. But maybe Els or Joop can answer you if it's still available. I hope it is. And let me see. Yes Kim, you need those stamps, <laughs> of course. Hi Sue, you're also there. Hi Diane. Marie Claire, hi. Okay, yeah, you're all curious about the paper. I will see if I can show you a little bit more. A little sneak peek. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get something for you. I'm going to show some little bits and pieces. Very quickly, okay. <laughs> and I'm a little bit off camera now because I'm trying to <laughs> look some for some papers and it's all in the vintage style obviously uh, well there's a little bit here and I hope you can see it it's printed on both sides of course and there are some many many more but that's all I have here for now so just to give you a little uh, impression Okay, um, let's go on with the other labels. So I'm going to put these aside because the tray I'm working on is really small. So it's nice um, to, for me to put it aside. Well, this is one of the labels and I'm not sure if I've got it here. Yes, it's also really nice for gift wrapping those labels. And if you take this one, for example, you take the stamp which I already cut out this afternoon. It's this one, the square one. I glued it on this one and then I used the This Is Mighty Fine stamp from this set. And I did the same with the uh, this label and another stamp which says oh la la, this is for you. And then I did a little gift wrapping, uh, in a little package over here with the label, uh, the stamp in green, dark green. The, the edge of the stamp is in black. I added some green uh, thread and one of the little um, cute flowers from, uh, uh, from Charlene and Ilse. And I ca uh, can't remember, is this a Chinese lantern? No, that was the other one. Uh, Papaver, I think this one was. So it's really nice to make a little cute gift w using those labels too. So. And that's the hard one. And you also saw it in my planner already. So I'm going to put these aside too. Uh, these stamps I use for journaling a lot. As you can could see in my planner too. Because they are a great size. And you can journal some bits and pieces in there. And they're also nice to glue onto the Exolute die. Which is this one. I die cut a few of those and then the stamps are a little bit smaller so I will cut one so you can see and well, I always am very quickly with uh, <laughs> cutting I'm not too precise but if you want to be precise uh, you can do that of course and it's a very fun and easy way to make some extra journaling spots in your planner, in your journal. So you can see it's very easy. A stamp and the label at the back side and you just glue them together. Uh, how, I'm checking the comments again. New paper, oh thank you. <laughs> you need some new stuff Kobe, now you don't have enough, right? <laughs> hi, hi Paula. Uh, do you first cut? No, Marion, uh, what do you mean? 
I'm cutting those, those labels and I'm stamping those stamps on a piece of paper and then cut them because they're really easy to cut. It's all square lines. Only the circular one is a little bit more difficult, but maybe if you have a circular um, punch and there's in the set also a little small circle which you can use for die cutting. So I hope this makes sense, okay? So cut this one, stamp this one, cut uh, around the edges and just stick them together like this. And I think I used that one, no, no. This is a normal one which I use quite a lot for journaling, but also this one would be nice on an envelope or you can, maybe you can do this, you know, add some extra interest here, uh, put a nice stamp here, you can put the address here. I will do that later. <coughs> so these are the large labels. Uh, this one too, it's a really nice one with two um, circular, uh, how do you think, holes, punch holes, yes, <laughs> here, so you can put some thread um, in it. Uh, they are quite a bit fragile, so if you think you're, they are too fragile, you just uh, die cut it twice, or maybe three times if you want, and then glue them together so it will be a bit more sturdy. And I used this one on this pocket I did the other day maybe you remember and it's the same label only in a different color oh it has the same stamp I now see and I put some uh, eyelets in it so that's also possible of course instead of using some uh, thread or wire uh, I'm checking some comments again because <laughs> I don't want to miss uh, too much of what you are saying What's the name of the stamps with the text? Which one do you mean, Claudia? There are a few of them. I will show them again. Um, this one is called Retro. It's called it's number 163. This is uh, the Retro Sayings. It's 134. And this is the Circular Labels one. So I think Anna might be able to uh, comment in one of the comments. And... Uh, and you can link fr from there, <laughs> okay? Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see. Yeah, we oh, they're already uh, replying. Stamping first. Oh yeah, that's also possible. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure who is saying that. Anna or else? Is she, are you um, commenting on behalf of Elizabeth Craft Designs? Stamping first and then die cutting. But it's all up to you. What you think it's uh, most easy. For yourself to work with so this was the label around here i'm going to put this one aside too and you see i prepared quite a lot of those already so um, i can grab them when i need it when i need them and i think i'm going to put more of those empty labels in here and then it's only a matter of uh, putting in the right quote or the right stamp when you want to use it so i'm going to put those aside too now I have got, let me see, this one we talked about already. So I can put that one there. Uh, shall we do the circular one? Yes, that's a nice one too. It's one of those labels. And then we have the circular stamps, of course. Oh my, I'm going to make a mess out of it. This is important stuff to remember. Well, I stamped this one on a piece of ledger sheet too. And you can glue that on here I will do that for now so you can see just a little bit of glue and this is also ready to go oh it's a little bit off center which is also nice of course is to use and I think you all probably have those things laying around and hardly using them is the eyelets and putting them with your crocodile. Oh, I'm not very good in those things, you know? And obviously it happens now <laughs> and it probably will happen again. Okay, is it still there? Yes. So this is really nice to add in your journal or on a little gift, a little present. So don't forget to use those if you if you have them laying around. Oh, Ilse, <laughs> you were posting, no problem. <laughs> A 
vintages, my uh, thank you for the comments on the paper girls. Yes, put it on your wish list. <laughs> Hi, Karina. Lovely paper. Oh, the comments are really way behind. Or oh, I'm way behind. <laughs> and the stamps. Oh. Okay, so don't forget to use those. Um, and obviously, uh, we have more circular stamps which will fit in here. And it's always easy to take those sheets out, those transparent sheets, so you can see that it fits the circle, you know. So uh, hopefully you can see it. I will hold it here for a few seconds. So this is one of the circles which will go on there. I think you will see it. I will put this one aside because this set, this has uh, a few smaller and bigger circles. But you can see, um, let me see, where is it? The smaller one, this one goes in here. It says photo of the day. And you can stick it onto the, the label, of course. Here's one another, another one. We are having fun. And I think this was the last one of the smaller ones, yes. And then if you take the label on its own, so like this, then you can use the bigger ones. See, like this one, one, two, three, four. Or this is important stuff to remember. This is us. Hopefully you can see it. I think you can. So this is a great way using those transparent sheets to see if it fits on the, the label you want to use. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. So these were the circular labels, which I also added in one to, uh, onto one of the planner pockets I did. Uh, this is a pocket I made the other day. And here I added the same label as we just did here. Uh, and only this one is attached to the pocket itself. So this one is on its own, so you can put uh, well, like this, for example. I don't have to tell you everything, but I'm just going to show you, and maybe it gives you an idea or some inspiration what you can do with it. So, oh, this is also a little sneak peek. This tag is also on one of the sheets of paper of the new paper collection. So it has some tags, which you can cut out yourself. So this is really nice. You see, so now it's really nice. Now this is a little bit too much, having two of those labels here, but I think you get what I mean. Okay, so this is the round one. And I am going to put those aside too. And then I am going to show you one or two more. So it's not a long Facebook Live tonight, but it's just to give you some ideas and so you can make uh, some great things um, yourself. Uh, let me see, this one is cute too. This has the numbers one, two, three, four, five. And this is the little label, which I stamped on another piece of paper. You see, it's this one. So I hopefully I've got one here too. Not sure. No, it's not. So <laughs> I will cut one out. And when I'm done tonight with the Facebook Live, I will cut all those labels and I will store them in one of my tins. So they're always uh, on hand when I need them. So this is one of the smaller labels. And this one, this one, sorry, goes on this label with the one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hi Penny, nice to see you. So also you can stamp here. There are a few words which fit this space. So. Also, it's all made um, for you to combine. And then there is this one. This goes with um, the, oh yeah, this label. And I already stamped the text, this is love, on it. And I'm trying to see all of you again. Hi, Angela from Manchester, nice to see you. Ellen, hi Ellen. So I'm cutting this one. And this one goes on a label like this. So you see, it exactly fits. And then you have this nice scalloped border, which still shows around the stamp and the label. 
I will hold it in place for a few seconds so you all can see. Okay, and there are a few more texts which are perfectly great for stamping on this label. Then we have um, the big one. Some call it, call it chaos, some call it family. That's also one of the stamps. And this in this set, which I like to use in my planner when we have family pictures, family dinners or things like that. That's also a nice one, which goes perfectly with bless this mess. Because sometimes when we are having dinner with the family, it really is a mess. <laughs> Melanie is going to stuck some uh, some <laughs> some labels tomorrow. Uh, yes, Liz, your wish list is getting longer and longer. Sorry, not sorry. That's what they say, is it? <laughs> um, this is also one of the circular ones. And for this label, it also has the text. I need to cut it precisely. It's also a really nice one. It says, yes, you can, yes, you can, yes, you can. So this is a good one to use in your planner or in your journal too. And so it's a lot of mix and matching and yeah, try and see what you like. And so this one we also had, let me see, the little one, the tiny one, it's a cute one. You can't stamp a lot in this one, but it's a really nice one. Um, when you cut it, you can fold it like this. I hopefully you can see it because it's a little bit small and maybe it's really nice only put a little heart inside or maybe one of your initials or the first letter of your loved ones and uh, this one I already folded it's an old piece of paper and I thought it was nice to die cut and maybe when you put a little heart in here and put it in your planner in your journal it really looks very nice so that's the tiny one. Maybe you can also use it as a as a tap, maybe like this. I'm just thinking that. Thinking out loud. It it would be nice to use it somewhere. Yeah. So that's also possible for you to do. And then the last one I want to show you tonight is this cute label. That's this one. And on this label, this stamp fits. This is the stamp which goes with it. It's stamped on a piece of old book paper. I got from Kobe, I think, a sheet of paper with all technical uh, drawings it had. And you see some leftover pieces here. And this one I prepared um, this afternoon already on a an tag. And that's this one. So I put on um, some paper tape. Uh, the label with some thread or wire, some of the cute, uh, oh this is the Chinese lantern flower from Ilse and Charlene, one of the uh, tags which is from my new paper set, some eyelets, and uh, well this is really nice when you give somebody a present, you write something on the back and it really looks cute. So um, I'm going to put them all together so you can sh uh, watch them again. This is the one with one of the labels here uh, as a gift tag. This is for in the planner. I made a, a pocket page. And uh, now it's not a pocket page. It's uh, a tag pocket. <laughs> Sorry. And over here I did uh, another tag pocket. Uh, a larger one to go into the planner. So you can use them on top of each other if you want. And this one has the round uh, label with an eyelet again. This one... Uh, what else did I make? Oh yeah, of course the envelope, which I'm going to fill with some goodies. And one of you uh, is going to receive this from me. Uh, if you are the lucky winner and you live, uh, let's say, in the US or in the UK or not in Holland, please uh, bear in mind that it takes quite a long time for this to arrive. But um, I'm sure it will get to you. Okay, uh, and Anna, I hope you've heard it before that you um, you can pick a winner, okay? <laughs> and oh yeah, and the, and the little gift wrapping, uh, the package I did uh, with one of the labels too. So I hope uh, you like this. Are there maybe any questions? So many ideas, great. Uh, so you can see that the, the planner dies, well, we call them planner dies, are really uh, versatile, is that how you say it? Yes. So think outside of the box. Don't use them in your planner. Use them for gift wrapping, for envelopes, um, but whatever you can think of. So it's not only suitable for this planner. 
and nice ideas nice so great wow okay that's good to see i want to i'm here to give you some ideas inspiration okay uh i'm sure uh, yes nicole everything fits together <laughs> and you've already got them okay well that's what they're here for and i'm uh, some yeah it's it's good for us to do those facebook live videos because when i'm designing things uh, i've got in my mind what i want to do with it and how i want to use them and because we don't speak to all of you it's good to do it this way so um yeah, I'm happy to see you, you like it and it gives you the inspiration and now you know how to use it and what was um, my intention when I designed them. Okay, uh, I don't think I forgot anything today. I believe Els is here tomorrow night. Els, is that true? Yes, I think you are. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're still watching. Uh, and I will be back probably next Tuesday. Um, same time same place Yolanda Yolanda you can watch the rewind the the video now stays in the group so you can watch it okay Marion great ideas Karen Linda oh you're welcome Linda yes of course Melanie there will be new dice a lot of them <laughs> uh, some of those ideas are also on Instagram and new dice are also coming out this month so stay tuned ladies and gentlemen if you are here um have a nice day have a nice evening hi Ed. <laughs> and video the dice pair set is a good idea oh my girls i can't stop <laughs> okay girls i'm going to leave you now um see you next week talk to you next week and i hope you're having fun uh creating those labels and use them uh in this way Okay, see you later. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.